how is it possible during an ND to experience the incidents in operation theater with no physical senses functioning during that time? Very good question. What is ND? When your attention is diverted from the physical senses, isn't it? Or the physical senses are not in a good condition to work. Like this is the person is under anesthesia, the body is completely gone. There is no sensation of the body. So in some people, probably because of their past practice, past spiritual ability or natural ability, talent, the non-physical senses are activated. And because there is a belief that I am in the world, I am in the operation theater, this this non-physical senses, they can sense the environment around it, around them. It is possible to sense not only the operation theater, you can sense any part of the world, physical world. That is called remote viewing. It's an ability, it's a power, spiritual power, occult power. That without even dying, without the, you don't need ND, you don't need to be in operation theater and anesthesia and you don't need to be diseased to do that. A fully healthy person can do it simply by shifting their attention to the non-physical senses. And non-physical senses are not limited just like the physical. Physical senses are very, very limited. So, since there is no space, there is no time, you can get an experience of any place, any time, past, present, future, any, any space in this universe, any place that can be called remote viewing or in the old days you can say clairvoyance, clairvoyance. Usually these experiences, they trigger spiritual seeking, they motivate us to know more and sometimes these experiences are given to the patients. Like it is the guru field, I know them. Very, very naughty people. Oh, he is dying. No, no, he is not dying. Doctors are going to revive, revive him. Okay, just throw some experience there. At least he will, he will take a path in the future, it looks like. Okay, give him the experience now. <laughs> you see, many experiences are like this. It is unfortunate that only, you see, 10 to 20 percent people who had ND, they turn into proper spiritual path. Yes, they become a different person. That is right. There is a difference in their character, in the attitude, in thinking. They are no more the same old boring material person. They are a little bit spiritual, but they don't go to a guru. In spite of having the experience, you know. People are demanding the experience because they think the experience is an evidence of some kind that we are more than a body. No, it is not an evidence actually. It is something new only. That kind of experience you never had. And newness does not mean evidence. This is a common misconception. You can say bias, fallacy. Something is new does not mean it is it is an evidence of something. So the evidence that I am not a body is very clear. It's right now, right here. The body is changing and the body is seen. I am not it. I mean, no, 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 no. That is boring for many people. Habitual of this thing. They need a new experience to know that I am not the body. Okay, if a potential is seen there, they are given sometimes. Or sometimes accidentally it happens. Like we said, we all have a little bit of spiritual seeking. We have a spiritual past because the whole world was like this, very advanced in the, in the past. So many people get it. And the best use of this experience is to utilize it as a motivator for more seeking, for, for knowledge. Yes, I got the evidence. Now, what is the excuse for you to just sit there and not do anything about it? So, how to develop this? Practice activating the non-physical senses. They are already there. So, we are non-physical in nature actually. Human beings are not really physical. We are, most of the portion is non-physical. And there are senses corresponding to each layer. It totally depends on what do you want to experience. Your wants are so many now, now about the physical that your attention is mostly on the physical senses because your desires are focused on physical only. You know only this much and you want only this much and that is what is given, that is what happens. Let us say you want to know what I am feeling, emotions, state of emotions. Now it is possible, you have the non-physical senses that sense the emotion. What are they sensing? sensing? The emotion within you but it is possible to sense any kind of emotions anywhere of any other person. Similarly, 
there, there are non physical senses that are sensing the thoughts which thoughts the local thoughts whatever is very necessary that is what is being sensed you call them my thought isn't it but uh, it is possible to sense any thought in the universe anything similarly vision and so on hearing so on it is possible you don't need to nearly die for that what is this phenomena because it is so profound and it happens in presence of very intelligent people who are very very critical of these things and the whole operation is documented nowadays i think it goes on camera also so i don't know but probably so it got documented there normally when it happens for, to a person for any other reason nobody takes care to document it properly or to send it for like he said peer review or criticism was it a hallucination or i really saw the room and all now you can dismiss this thing as a recall uh, people can say that look uh, the patient saw the operation theater before going in anesthesia and when they come out of the anesthesia they simply remember these things they say it like this and probably some of the senses were active so they remember the conversation also but there are reports that people could explain the operation theater from the point of view of the ceiling like they saw themselves touching the ceiling floating to the ceiling and they explained the whole operation theater from that perspective not from the perspective of the bed now that was amazing that nobody could explain it cannot be dismissed now so that is very interesting thing and it is very well documented very scientifically documented so the the explanation is very easy that we have the non physical senses and we can sense anything we want so like this saying so people who have experienced this have spiritual powers everybody has powers sometimes they get activated whatever you call as power is nothing your natural ability which is not seen in the waking state because you are totally focused on the waking state for whatever reasons you are attracted to the waking state so much that the attention never goes in your other abilities sometimes like nd or anesthesia or some event very strong event death of a person and so on the intense desire to see the other person actually materializes that person it is possible and uh, everybody everybody has got a little bit of power you can uh, increase it like everybody can sing a little bit they can hum a little bit they whistle a little bit but you go to a guru and he can teach you singing now you can sing properly you can become a good singer same thing about spiritual powers it is not that only special people got it no everybody is the same as far as senses are concerned some people may not have it like some people are blind or some people are deaf same way many people because they have never used these things is completely degraded non physical senses more you use them the better they become it's like weight lifting the more weight you lift the more weight you can lift the capacity increases and since we are very old like we are many thousand years old and the world was never like this the spiritual practices were the top priority in the human life that was the only thing for which we were born in the ancient times and we all have this especially those who are born in the spiritual countries like india and surrounding countries old countries where the tradition is still there they all have the powers actually all of them you can make somebody ill by th- simply thinking about it <laughs> big power isn't it 